So, okay, let me introduce my name. Is my name is Muhammad Adib. Muhammad Adi. So matrix number is X X one nine zero two zero two K E E S zero four. That is my matrix number. So this presentation for the assignment assignment. EMT introduced by Dr. Hanif introduced by Dr. Hanif so I will present to you about <coughs> the Faraday laws So firstly, we uh, we have the the single coil, smith coil. When we apply the electric current here, electric current, uh, they will produce the magnetic field around the coil this one so from the electric current we will also get the magnetic field So the first phenomenon is found by Michael Faraday. His name is Michael Faraday. My Faraday. So Michael Faraday observed, can we reverse this one to generic electric current? The answer is yes. So Michael Faraday is a, a person with good observation on this phenomena. Then. So, okay, uh, let me continue about the basic uh, Faraday law. So, here we have the magnetic power. The around the magnetic power is the magnetic field, MF. So, on the right, we have the coil, and then we uh, put here the sensor. Yeah, the sensor. So this one is EMF. So we have the needle. So when you when we move the magnetic bar inside the coil, the EMF will produce. The needle will go into here. Or we'll go to here. This is zero. So the faster we move the bar, and then we got more EMF. So Faraday law. Michael Faraday also introduced the the equation of the EMF. So for Dex. EMF will produce when negative N and this is flux, the changing of the magnetic flux 
divided by the times. So flux also increase. Uh, the flux also increase when uh, the magnetic field increase. The area of the magnetic field, the, the area, and then the times of the cos theta, the angle, will cut the magnetic field. So that is the, the basic equation of the Michael Faraday law. Okay, uh, let me uh, continue about the transformer EMF. So basically, this is uh, the transformer. We have the two coil. This is, we call it the primary. Primary. This is secondary coil. So, from the first, my explanation about the Faraday law, when we apply the AC current here, the AC current into the, the coil that will produce the EMF. EMF. Because of the, the characteristic of the AC current, it is moving the forward and backward in one cycle. So that the the magnetic flux also is the the so also the backward and upward backward and upward the direction here. backward and upward and then uh, the secondary coil also linkage that's in links uh, no no uh, we try the okay also links this one there will be the magnetic flux here also induces and then, because of the, the number of turn, uh, the primary is lower, then the secondary uh, turn coil is higher, they will, voltage will increase at the, at the secondary coil. That is phenomena uh, the, the Faraday uh, law we can use to apply the, the transformer for can we control the voltage voltage go up or go down okay Uh, and this and this guide uh, this diagram of the explain about the step up step step up the transformer okay let me move Okay. How to induce the EMF? So, this is equation to describe about the EMF uh, induce. When the the changing of the magnetic flux, and then divided by the changing of the times. 
so the water shear so from that we can introduce we can uh, rearrange or not not arrange we also we uh, explain about the basic the, the the basic equation basic equation of transformer the number of turn divided by two same with the number of winding uh, the number uh, voltage and then the number of voltage two so is current what number two is current number one okay that is a basic the principle of the operating the transformer emf okay let's say we uh Okay, we continue about the uh, motional EMF. <clears throat> okay, let's say we have the uh, magnetic field here. Magnetic field here. Okay. We have the ma magnetic field here. Then we have the uh, the coil, the conducting wire here. And the end of the point we connect to galvanometer. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, we have the, the rod here. So, this is a conducting wire. Conducting wire. And then we have the rod. Iron rod. Iron rod. Initially, okay, uh, no, no, this is a B, we call it B, same as magnetic field. Magnetic field. Okay, initially, uh, we have the the charge here it is positive this is negative that is the, the static the characteristic is the charge inside the rod iron rod is the static when we move when we move this one the rod cutting the magnetic star move the rod and cutting the magnetic plug is perpendicular okay, 90 degree from point A to point B that will uh, uh, if, I, if we move the iron rod cutting the magnetic plug that will induce the elect, uh, current induced or EMF. 
Karen Indisch. Inside. Inside the coil. For and then gal galvanometer will detect it. And the need you have the needle or the coin to left or the coin to right. Then the theory of this one, what they call, what they call it, sorry, uh, okay, I, I go back. The phenomenon, this one is uh, called it the no, this, I think the pen, uh, the black. Okay, uh, delete this one. Uh, the phenomenon is what happened this one it the uh, the phenomena happened uh, this uh, this is experiment uh, performed by uh, Michael Faraday we can compute the EMF in this Moving, move. Okay. It is a moving loop. In a special. Nary, nary, magnetic uh, field this is this is called it this is a uh, call it is called a this is called a, a magnetic no, motion motional EMF What happened in charge inside the rod? When we when we move the rod, cutting the magnetic field, the charge will going to from the initial condition. This is is the freely moving. When we cutting the uh, when we move the rod. Cutting the magnetic uh, magnetic field, the charge will going to up, going to up, 
and it's going to down. The chest formally in synchronized is going to up and it's going to down. From that, from that, uh, the charge charge what you call it Q moving which below city which means due or A to B in magnetic field D that we produce that we produce the EMF so so that we can express the mathematical Equation, no, no EMF is magnetic field. Sorry, yes, the draw. This one, uh, okay. The formula is uh, draw y, y. Draw. the formula is Fm same is Q U cross <coughs> this is the 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 the, this is the the general formula. Okay, uh, from previously, I explained about the Faraday law and transformer EMF and motion EMF. From that, we can consider how the magnetic field or EMF will link with electric and magnetic field. According to Faraday law, Uh, e, the connection is the connection the connection between no, connection between EMF and 
electric field electric field we can conclude that and then express in the mathematic equation we can have we can got it emf the the changing of the magnetic flux and the changing of the time from that we can uh, simplify it this is uh, the general equation we can simplify how to reduce this one okay uh, emf is the sum of the electric field dot gl also seeing this one okay uh, this one we can reduce this okay uh, we can move on there move down okay uh, from the from my observation the variant of the flood with the time uh, may be caused by uh, may be caused in a uh, three ways number one is The stationary loop, the stationary loop, station near we loop in time variant. field number two the area area static uh, magnetic field a Number three is area in time varying varying magnetic field B. Okay. okay, we move downward and we move downward. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, okay, we can delete this one.
Oke. Okay. I uh, IMF IMF induce induces by time varying cavern by using the stock theorem using the stock theorem We can obtain the mathematical mathematical equation is as uh, is uh, sum of the cool same with negative by using the no uh, sorry using the stop. changing of the magnetic field divided by time the changing of the time dot ds from that we can conclude as the curl of the same is we can uh, we can simplify the equation and get this T and then the T this is the final equation then we can call it the Maxwell equation Maxwell equation so we can make this one Because of the Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Maslan Benkiran. I will be explaining the generation of EMF through the combination of transform EMS and motional EMF. Let's scroll to transformer EMS first. In transformer EMS, the two key main factors of a transformer EMS is that it has a static conductor loop and a varying magnetic field. As we can see in the diagram here, that the conductor loop is permanent while the magnetic field is varying. When the total of magnetic flux in the conductive loop as a non-zero derivative against time voltage will be induced in the conductor loop this can be proven in the Faraday's law which says that the voltage induced in the conductor loop is equal to the negative time derivative over the integral surface of the loop times the magnetic field dot ds it can also be expressed as the negative derivative of time against the flux phi passing through the loop 
as we learned before that voltage can also be expressed to the integral of electric field along the length if we substitute this equation into the Faraday's law we will get the Lenz law it says that the integral of it says that the magnetic flux of the electric field along the length is equal to the Faraday's law as you can see here in the equation the negative sign here means that the induced voltage along the conductor loop creates an opposite magnetic flux against the direction of applied flux therefore we can say that the EMF transformer in the, in the conducting loop is equal to the voltage induced in the conducting loop. Moving on to the motional EMF, the key main factor of motional EMF is the opposite of transformer EMF, which has, it has a conductor loop that is moving while the magnetic flux is fixed as you can see in the diagram while the magnetic flux is fixed along the conductor the movement of the conductor is back and forth by moving a conductor loop within the magnetic field produce a force on the conductor loop which in turn produce a voltage it also can be derived by this equation can be shown that motional EMF is equal to the integral around the contour of the moving conductor loop over the velocity times the magnetic flux density dot dl. In real life, the generation of EMF always through the generation of motional EMF and transformer EMF at the same time so we can say that the total EMF generated is the sum of the transformer EMF and motional EMF which can easily be derived as the EMF total generated is equal to the summation of EML transformer and EMF motional Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Saya Erwin bin Muhammad uh, Saya akan menyambung Pembentangan daripada kawan saya Iaitu Muhammad Adib okay. Untuk contoh ni saya akan mengambil uh, Contoh Transformer eh, dalam uh, Memberikan konsep Bekerja bagi Unit transformer uh, Untuk ini saya hanya akan menerangkan konsep bekerja untuk single phase. Okay, seperti yang semua sedia maklum, untuk transformer kita ada binaan asas, kita ada teras. ataupun kita panggil dia core kita ada bahagian uh, primary dan secondary untuk primary kita ada AC supply untuk secondary Kita ada uh, sini kita letak load okay. 
sini kita ada AC supply terus bila digunakan AC supply sini akan mengalir AC current melalui coil sini juga akan terhasil uh, output current okay, apabila uh, AC supply dikenakan bahagian uh, primary winding yang ni kita namakan dia uh, primary winding so yang ni adalah secondary winding ok apabila uh, arus mengalir melalui uh, coil pada primary ni maka AC magnetism flux akan terbentuk di sekitar ni keadaan yang sama juga akan berlaku pada bahagian secondary berlakunya juga pada bahagian secondary ni uh, ialah uh, AC magnetism ok ini kita panggil AC magnetism flux ini akan terhasil uh, dipanggil electromagnetic field di seluruh bahagian teras ini dinamakan uh, electromagnetic field Okay, kebiasaannya dengan electromagnetic field ni kita dah ada uh, disimbulkan dengan ini. Okey. Apabila AC supply diberikan pada bahagian uh, primary, arus akan mengalir melalui winding. Seterusnya akan membentuk AC magnetism flux. Apabila AC magnetism flux ni terbentuk, maka ia akan menghasilkan electromagnetic field di seluruh teras ini akan bertindak balas pada winding yang terhasil ya, winding yang ada di bahagian secondary maka arus uh, ini kita panggil output current akan mengalir melalui circuit melalui, terus ke beban ok supply yang kita gunakan di sini adalah AC supply yang mana yang kita uh, ketahui ialah berbentuk sinusoidal dia punya uh, graf kita, kita lukis ok sini so, sini ialah flux Okay, untuk mendapat satu putaran uh, lengkap iaitu 360 darjah dekat sini dipanggil satu untuk tempo kitaran masa dia ialah T sama dengan 1 per F dekat sini kita ada pi ini 2 pi um, gelombang sana sedil ini diberikan oleh uh, persamaan ketika maksimum mencapai, uh, gelombang mencapai maksimum adalah pada ketika T sama dengan 1 per 4 bermakna ia dikedudukan kat sini C 
Sini ialah Di sini Juga ialah di sini Apa yang kita boleh keluarkan daripada graf ini ialah ha, yang kita ketahui ini uh, flux adalah maksimum ini adalah flux uh, maksimum flux pada core ya dalam unit Weber ok ini tujuannya adalah untuk uh, kita boleh uh, menerangkan hubung kait di antara satu sama lain yang mana bagaimanakah uh, transformer ni bekerja sama ada uh, ia adalah menaik ataupun menurun maknanya dia ada sama adalah step up ataupun step down jadi uh, untuk menerangkannya kita perlu lebih tahu uh, kena perlu lebih dahulu mengetahui hubungan di antara satu sama lain yang terdapat pada graf ni. Jadi saya uh, cuba nyatakan di sini untuk bahagian primary a uh, delta ni kita boleh wakilkan dia dengan n1. Pada secondary bolehkan uh, sebagai N2 ok kat sini kita, uh, kat sini N1 bilangan lilitan number of primary turn sama juga N2 number of secondary turn sini kita akan ada so, pada bahagian ni kita akan ada satu E uh, kita akan ada E1 E2 okay. ini E1 dan E2 ni adalah dalam RMS value eh Okay, ini kita ada frekuensi uh, supply frekuensi ya, sebelum tu uh, voltage yang terjana di sini kita namakan sebagai V1 dan di sini uh, V2 menerangkan lagi dengan hubungan yang uh, berkaitan ok uh, average electromagnetic field yang terinduce dalam uh, setiap uh, lilitan adalah bersamaan dengan average rate of maknanya perubahan yang berlaku pada flux ini juga adalah bersamaan dengan ataupun ditulis sebagai average 
untuk setiap turn ya. Sebenarnya untuk setiap lilitan adalah sama dengan perubahan yang berlaku pada flux <coughs> berkadaran dengan masa ataupun perubahan yang uh, diperlukan masa yang diperlukan untuk menukar flux di mana uh, change perubahan dalam flux uh, dt for change in flux jadinya yang dapat dihubung kaitkan antara ni dalam masa adalah change in flux time yang diperlukan change in in flux okay, jika dia lihat semula pada graf tadi Uh, masa yang diperlukan untuk dia mencapai flux maksimum ialah antara ketika kosong dan sehingga t 1/4 pada ketika ini flux adalah keadaan maksimum jadi kat sini flux maksimum 0 masa ialah pada T 1 per 4 F mana F adalah frekuensi ini average average yang terinduce dalam setiap nilitan adalah bersamaan dengan 4 frekuensi unit Weber per second ataupun dalam volt Kita juga mengetahui bahawa dalam form factor adalah sama dengan RMS value per average value yang mana form factornya ialah sama dengan 1.11 ini bermakna RMS value okay. RMS value adalah bersamaan dengan 1 bulan 1, 1 times jadi RMS yang dihasilkan in use untuk setiap uh, lilitan adalah bersamaan dengan maka kita akan perolehi 
ialah RMF value of induced EMF per turn jadi seperti yang kita telah buat pada mula-mula tadi hubungan di antara E1, N1, E2, N2 dapat ditulis sebagai uh, E1 Samaan dengan N1 Time 4.44 Begitu juga dengan E2 Seterusnya adalah uh, Transformer Ratio Transformer ratio adalah dihubungkan melalui uh, E1 Pilihan pada primary dan pilihan pada uh, secondary okay, Untuk menentukan sama ada transformer itu adalah step up ataupun step down Kita boleh tentukan melalui E1 E2 Kita letakkan nilai pemalah tu sebagai K Sekiranya uh, K Sekiranya nilai K adalah Lebih besar daripada 1 Maka ni adalah Step up transformer Dan sekiranya K Less than 1 Maka dia adalah Step down transformer Ini juga dapat diterangkan apabila Melalui uh, Secara gambaran Di mana uh, Sekiranya Bilangan lilitan pada bahagian secondary Melebihi bilangan lilitan pada bahagian primary uh, Daripada bahagian primary Maka dia adalah Step up Begitu juga kalau bilangan lilitan Di bahagian primary Melebihi bahagian secondary Ini adalah uh, step down. Nah, ini secondary lilitan melebihi primary maka ini adalah step up begitu juga pada bahagian primary melebihi bahagian secondary maka dia adalah step down. Sekiranya kedua-duanya adalah sama maka dia dinamakan uh, Isolation Transformer Terima kasih